Now that we've expanded on what Napoleon Hill thinks about leadership, which is very valid, and I have explained some of it, um, let's move on to what Napoleon feels about the qualities, how did he put it, the 10 major causes of failure in leadership. There are some that I just want to highlight, and one of the highlights is going to be fear of competition. When you fear competition, it means that you're in a space where you are basically feeling that there is not enough for everyone. Let's start with that. There is enough for everyone. What you need is an abundance mentality, realizing that it is your ability to be in internal competition with yourself, getting yourself better, that will attract the people you need to attract to you for your services, product, whatever it is. You do not need to be in competition with the next person. You need to worry about yourself and get yourself to a space where your, your products, yourself, your service is coming up through your efforts and not by attempting to cut somebody else's throat. You start with yourself, okay? The other thing is being selfish, not acknowledging your team. You taking all the wonderful, you know, kudos that come and your team are getting all the blame when there is blame. You're not going to remain a leader very fast because, yes, you may get to some top somewhere, but it won't last very long and it's not going to be satisfying because everybody, you're a leader by fiat. You're a leader by, you know, the, the, the iron rod. And as soon as they can desert you, they will like rats on a sinking ship. So think about that. Oh, Macintosh may like some rats, but I don't think so. Not today. Anyway, and the other is expecting pay for what you know and not what you do. A good example is this. There are lots of people in higher places of learning who are experts at whatever niche it is they are in. Now, they cannot expect to be paid the same as, person, as somebody who actually goes out and does some work and helps people in that same niche. One famous example is using psychologists. There are lots of very good psychologists all over the place, um, but their fees are somewhat capped until they move into spheres like Dr. Phil, who is well known because he goes out there. He is doing it. He is doing it on everyday basis, helping people and trying to up-level his game. Expect pay for what you do, not what you know, okay? Knowledge, you cannot actually get other people to fill in the blanks if you don't have them. It is not necessary, as Napoleon Hill said, it's not necessary to know everything. It is necessary to do. So I would encourage you, start doing. And the other thing is lack of imagination, which I'll say you need creativity. When things happen, you need to be able to say, plan A doesn't work, let's move to plan B, and be able to uh, give your team those kind of options because the team will look at you and say what do we do now and if you don't have any imagination or creativity you're stuck the whole thing goes pear-shaped so be imaginative be creative and those are one of the things that you do you know you you would you would require if you're going to be a good leader okay that's this one for now subscribe to the newsletter below <laughs>